<clears throat> Welcome to Call Camp, everyone. I am your host, Extreme Elixir. This is Imaru. This is Muda. And this week's episode is kind of interesting because uh, the other night while well, me and the boys were playing Rainbow Six Siege, a very interesting con uh, conversation about food was brought up. Uh, Imaru had asked us, I believe, what our favorite fast food french fry was. And to say the least, things got a little heated. <laughs> yeah, well, um, we got to defend like shitty food places. And yeah, the way we get ready to fucking throw down with that. That how being are, said, how do we get said, heated? Do, you were just wrong. <laughs> that being said, I do want to amend my uh, answer simply mm -hmm. because of the fact that I don't think Five Guys is fast food now that I think about it. I've never seen one with a drive through I would consider that fast casual. They don't, well, what do, what do you mean they don't? Dude, I swear to God, Americans are so fucking lazy. <laughs> His idea of fast food is literally not even getting out of the car. You know, he's like, oh, it doesn't count because it doesn't have a drive through What? Dude, we yeah, have like absolutely. only two MACDs here with a drive through dude. It doesn't fucking matter. Yeah, but you're third world, man. Well, you live in the fucking, fucking sticks? That. Fuck you! He lives in a major metropolitan area. You live in like a fucking town with 20 people. <laughs> Fuck you, the hills have eyes. Fucking eat my guy. Fuck off. <laughs> yeah, nah, dude, dude, you like... walk outside your house and you can hear the Persona 4 theme in the background. <laughs> the dude, I'm sorry. That fast food, at least in America, fast food is you have the option of dine in or drive through that is that is the definition of fast food here in america no that's the definition of laziness what's this like oh man my slop is somehow more sloppier if i can pick it up in my car or i walk <laughs> yeah. into the fucking store and pick it up i don't give a fuck kfc is slop no matter if you can pick it up in a car or you have to walk in and get a bucket Exactly. I have, I've literally never gone to a KFC that doesn't have a drive through When these fries are going to be awful, whether I go in a drive through or I go to the fucking mall, it, it's the same. It doesn't matter. I don't know. But regardless, I, I have to amend my answer to most likely. And here's the thing, Imaru. I don't give a shit what you say. I don't agree with Charlie on a lot of things. But the one thing he's gotten right in the last goddamn year is the fact that Burger King is fucking shit. Mm, I don't know, man. Wait, we're Charlie talking the that? Battle of Myth? Yeah. I'll say that's no, the, dude. the Charlie, 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 Charlie notoriously hates uh, Burger King. Well, I mean. Notoriously. I mean, like. I mean, so what? He's wrong. <laughs> exactly. No, he isn't. Burger King is oh, yeah. legitimately just before, fucking before, trash. Just, just to line people up over here, this whole conversation started because we were talking about the best like French fries out of any like fast food place. I'm just gonna end the topic right here. The best French you're fries, wrong. The best French fries are Popeyes. Okay. Now, if you, now if you want to, there isn't there isn't a single fucking person alive in this country or anywhere in the world that's gonna look at you and say Popeyes is the best fucking fast. Well, so food. Is there fucking... is there a fucking source? Is there a source, please? Do you have a did fucking you, study? Did you, did you do a study? Castle? Huh? Dude, you said White Castle. Nobody. Do you have any? Do you have a source for that, Amar? White Castle is trash. I made it up. White Castle's fucking good. Dude, I hate this. Dude, uh, this is why you cannot listen to what Kyle says fucking seriously at all. Kyle hates White Castle because, like, it's just, it, it, it's, he just, he's born to hate it. He's, you're a fucking Redditor when you say you hate it, okay? <laughs> No, I, you're fuck, dude, you're fucking White actual Castle redditor. Is awful. Dude, literally, you this is this is Kyle's brain. He goes to R slash fast food, reads the fucking tier list and says White Castle shit. What is bad about White Castle? Tender fucking bun. Okay, tender like a fucking baby's kiss. The beef is good for fucking fast food slop. The cheese is American processed cheese, is what you expect. Okay, I'm not expecting fancy fucking Stilton blue cheese on my burger. It I mean, costs honestly, 45 cents to make. Okay. You're kind of describing every single fucking food, fast food chain like there. They're, they're yeah. basically all the same. It just depends on who the fuck, who's the minimum yeah, wage but, guy who's preparing them. Yeah, and the White Castle has like the best minimum wage people preparing <laughs> it. Okay, no, like, they don't. You want to know what? You want to know what's wrong with I've, them? I've <laughs> only met nice people at White Castle. I've never been a Costa there. Okay, they, that's bullshit. They, they literally put extra shit in my bag without even asking. Like, you don't even have to ask them. They just like do it for you. 
Because you know what? They're nice. They're awesome. It's a positive environment, okay? <laughs> Versus Five what? Guys. Who the fuck walks into a Five Guys? Oh, wow, they put a lot of fries into your bag. Do you go there for the fucking burger? That's why they're giving you a fuck ton of fries, because they're shitty dude, fries. Dude, you cannot eat a burger without fries. Okay. They give no, me, no, they no. Give have you ever had, have sick. you had Five Guys tomorrow? I mean, no, that doesn't okay. exist here. But at the same okay. time... Can you have a burger without fries? No, I don't no, think No, no, possible. you can't, but no. I'm just saying. It's like when you just like, when you're fucking mass carpet bombing me with fucking fries, they're probably not good fucking fries to begin with, okay? It's not like they're Burger fantastic King. fantastic fries. Burger okay, actually, King, like, work. like you were shitting on Burger King. Okay, Burger King's actually fucking, Burger King's better than McDonald's. Yeah. Burger King's no, a million I, I, years no, better than McDonald's. No, no, no. Yeah. 100%. Dude, you know what I can the go stacker, to Burger King right the now? The stacker alone fucks up the Big Mac big time. Look, the stacker four or three or five, whatever the fuck... Shits all over the Big Mac, dude. The dude, I was are crispy fucking, as fuck, dude. I would commit fucking war crimes for a roasted garlic <laughs> ass Burger King burger. You know what? I, I wouldn't commit a war crime for a fucking Big Mac. Okay, I've had Big you, Macs in my life. Because, okay, you can look at me Big and Macs see that I've had trash. a Big Mac. Big okay, Macs are trash. what's a good burger at McDonald's? What's a good for come Mac on, D, yeah. what's a yeah? Come on, what's a, what's a, what's, a, what's a fucking premier menu option here? Come on, give us the Persona Three guide. The best damn burger at uh, McDonald's right now. If you don't care about money. Is the double quarter pounder? So, so your your idea of a good burger is just like m the most slop you can buy. <laughs> Absolutely, it's not the quality. It's like the, the quarter, quarter fucking pounder thing slop. that you cannot even but here's grab. The thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. If you don't, if you don't want to pay fucking fourteen dollars for that, because that's what the meal is going to run you. If you don't want to pay that, the best bang for your buck burger from McDonald's is a McDouble. There's no fucking way a double quarter pounder is fourteen dollars, dude. Those patties it have is. paper. That shit has no weight to it. How the fuck? I'll, I will. I will. Those, those are. Hey, no. Nope, I, those I will are the fucking same get in my. Patties. I will get in my fucking car right now. We will drive live, and I will confirm the fucking price there. there <laughs> ain't no fucking way that burger is fourteen dollars USD. That's a premium ass burger, dude. Their artesian burgers don't even cost that fucking much. <laughs> yes, they do. I'm telling you. They, their prices have gone up so much, and on top of that, they tax the shit out of it. But regardless you just of have that, to make it political. Regardless of that, Imaru, the patties used on a McDouble are the exact same patties used on the Big Mac. Yeah, maybe in America, I don't know, but we get good patties here with Burger King. Yeah, right? actually in Canada, our slop is better regulated. It's not like the U.S. <laughs> well, slop. No shit. Yeah. <laughs> and that's, that's one of the things over the last like two days that I've actually kind of realized is I kind of was thinking about it, and I'm like, how can I compare, you know, McDonald's America to McDonald's Argentina? Because yeah, you ever seen McDonald's they're... Japan, bro? They come up with the weirdest shit in the world: Ringo Burgers, dude, <laughs> fucking <laughs> Windows Seven Burger. Can't you get like that's just beer it. in like uh, McDonald's in Germany? I think. Like, yeah, it, dude, you can so get varied. you can get a beer in Taco Bell, California, bro. You oh, can, that's you sick. Can get a fuck ton of beers, dude. <laughs> like, like all I'm saying is that it's like. Maybe, maybe the maybe Burger King in Argentina is legitimately better. Well, you should that, come and that's try even, it, dude. Well, okay, for, forget forget burgers now. Clearly, yeah. Burger King is better. We all won there. Bullshit. We were talking. We were talking about pizza last night too. We were like, oh, the fucking best yep, pizza yep. in the world. Okay, so who's the best like pizza restaurant? If you're oh, if you're watching a fuck. cult found footage movie, you're probably buying a pizza. Ain't nobody buying a burger for a movie. That's just too messy of a food to eat while you're watching Boy. a fucking movie. You get a little pizza, boy, Little Caesars. Boy, I might, I might get. I get Bro, I you might cannot get... say Little Caesars. Come on, dude. That's literally like prison grade slop. <laughs> well, honestly, the only pizza play like fast food American that I went was uh, fucking Pizza Hut with you guys in Vegas. Yep. Well, you you we can don't... bring up like Argentinian pizza place. I'm sure there's better Argentinian. Come on, yeah, Little Caesars yeah, is like straight there's up prison grade. There's a place. Grade. There's a place called El Bosco de las Empanadas. Has the messiest. But at the same time, like the most fucking delicious pizzas, they're kind of like basic, to be honest. They're, they're the, like those really thin crusts. They're pretty messy. Yeah, but they're, they're pretty good as well. You go there what for an you, empanada, though, so I don't there? know if it counts. What, 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 kind, what kind of pizza do you get from there? Uh, they like okay, one with bell peppers and um, a shit ton of oregano. I go with that one, too. Um, and of course... With eggs. 
Dude, such a good fucking top. With eggs. Honestly, that's, though, no, eggs I, are let, underrated. Let me, go on, let me go on my little fucking rant with this because this is something that's been following me for my streams. When I was fucking drawing, I was talking, oh, shit, yeah, I like pizza. How, what, what, do you, what toppings do you like? Oh, man, maybe some some eggs, some ham, some cheese. Like, and people were like, eggs on your pizza topping? Like, what the fuck? And I'm like, what? Why is it so weird for Amer Americans to, like, just boil some eggs? Fucking grind them out and put them on the on the toppings why is it so weird there's x on everything there's x on I everything i don't know why weird. the fuck is it so weird and people are like oh my god that sounds awful how it's eggs it's well, eggs that's i have that's the same shit i say about pineapple you got fucking actual morons who are like oh pineapple doesn't belong on fucking pizza okay yeah sure the thing is that that makes it a little sour and sweet the thing because pineapples are a little bit more sweet and I don't, that kind of clashes a little bit more i think Dude, it's just so fucking good. <laughs> it's the thing. It's so fucking perfect. Uh, I don't. I don't I'm, know. Here's the thing. I'm not a pineapple on person. Uh, pineapple on pizza, pizza person. Mm -hmm. But like, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna dog on someone for it. Yeah. Am I, mean, I gonna think they're? Am I gonna think they're wrong? Yes, but no, I'm not gonna. Tell like, them. there's motherfuckers out there putting anchovies on their pizza, dude. Why, why don't we bully them? Bro, anchovies on pizza are great. What are you talking? Yeah, about? Bro, it's fantastic. Bro, bro, fuck off. Fuck off. That whoa, shit just whoa, whoa, takes, hold on. It, it takes so me. much. It takes away so much from the, the fucking taste of the cheese. You can even taste anything there. You can just fucking taste the, the fucking fish. What? Wait, hold on, 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 like you're like you're like yes. an Elden Ring and you're fighting off like the fucking <laughs> yes, I will you're white it. knighting for this shit. I'm mending the fucking knight on the anchovies. Anchovies are your fucking end all. How? What fucking low brand? Low <laughs> fucking. I'm not gonna take what? this coming from a guy who fucking likes pineapples on pizza, dude. Bro, pineapple and anchovies, <laughs> a brilliant on pizza. It's like the fucking yin yang of both worlds. You got sweet, you got salty, you got the cheese. Sometimes you got pesto underneath the cheese, bro. It's like the fucking oh, perfect yeah. pizza in the world. Yeah, maybe the Fallout world, but not the world that we live in, dude. Fuck the that. Fallout fucking world. Though, first off, okay, you privileged Argentinian <laughs> first worlder. In the Fallout world, you be eating fucking locust protein on well, like fuck fucking. I eat. I want on stick. I don't want to fucking hear it. <laughs> <laughs> well, he, well like, ancho okay, you gotta try good anchovies on pizza because clearly you've had like the fucking shittiest prison anchovies. Maybe put on I have bad experiences, maybe. I don't know. I'm willing to give it a try, but if it sucks, it sucks. What do you want? Dude, uh, it's, it's Muda, really what's, so what's huh? your best uh, pizza chain? Uh, my best pizza chain? Well, uh, are we talking about like fast food pizza or like you fucking go out and get like a good pizza? What, what are we talking I about? I don't here? think. I don't think fast pizza really exists. Like you, it's either delivery or carry out. Well, there's like a carry out place. It's kind of like Joe's from New York. Fucking just yeah. the best, Joe's. proper, brilliant. It's it's literally the same pizza from like Spider Man Two, like the actual like pizza chain from Spider Man Two. Sure. Fucking oh, yep. dude, the most amazing. You got Mister Aziz chewing you out. <laughs> Oh, there, there's plenty of Mr. Aziz's there now. It's, uh, it's more than one. Oh, it's perfect. <laughs> it's, uh, it's authentic New York experience. I love it. Bro, dude, but literally, like, the best pizzas now are literally made by my kind. Like, <laughs> at, at a New York pizzeria. Somehow, it's just what it is. I would like to go. I want to know if there's, like, Argentinian restaurants in, like, New York or in America. Or, like, somewhere in oh, America. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Gonna be there. Yeah, Dude, it's like, it's, like, it's like the best Italian food is like made by Mexicans for some reason. Like I shit you not. Like <laughs> yeah, I was they, in California. I had like, like the fucking amazing... avatars of Cook. I don't know. Somehow they just fucking managed to like get everything right. Dude, dude, it's crazy. It's, like the best pasta dish I ever had was cooked by literally somebody from like fucking Jalisco. It's like, oh, okay. <laughs> you know, you know what it is? It's because of the fucking weeaboos of cooking. Like think about it. Like just think about it like this. Okay. Like dudes who like jerk off going to Japan. Right. They probably know a lot more about Japanese culture than the average Japanese person, right? Yeah. You know? Like, you could be living your whole life in Tokyo and been like, your life is pretty tunnel vision, but somebody could literally be jerking off the Wikipedia page for, or the fucking map information and know more about the city than you. Same for chefs, right? Like, you go to school to learn how to cook, 
from any ethnicity, right? And you're like, oh shit, I want to specialize in Italian food, but I'm not Italian. Bro, you're going to be overcompensating your fucking chef. You're going to be, you're, <laughs> dude, you're going to be like the fucking Gordon Ramsay of pasta making if you're good enough. And when you're working for a high-end restaurant, dude, you can feel the overcompensation. It's, it's, why, it's why New York pizza made by the most like New Yorker Indian guy in the world. I have met Indian New Yorkers that literally sound like this. They sound like that for fucking New It's crazy. <laughs> oh, it's insane. You know? If, like if you out of nowhere started talking like Joe Pesci, I would lose my shit, man. <laughs> Dude, I've I've met Indians in New York that sound more Joe Pesci than Joe. Joe Pesci sounds like, like if Joe sat down and listened to some of these Indian guys from New York City, he'd be like, well, fuck me. Clearly, I'm not this Italian. <laughs> Like, like, like there, there was one point where like, you know, cause usually with like people of my own race and Amari, you can, you can understand this too. Like when you yeah. speak the same language, you probably start talking in that. Yeah. yeah you're like maybe, maybe you start saying something like I'll start saying something in Hindi too. And then like the funniest two experiences I've ever had is like the most like Joe Pesci sounding Indian. And then <laughs> literally in California, I heard like an, another Indian guy. So he, he grew up in like fucking Tennessee and I shit you not if you close your eyes. He sounded like the most trailer park <laughs> Tennessee person you've ever heard. Like, holy That's shit. Awesome. Like, if you just closed your eyes, you wouldn't even believe this dude's name is Rahul. It's like, it's like, what? What? <laughs> you dude, when he spoke, I could I I could visualize his like house with the junked out pickup truck in front of it on fire. That's you get how fucking blindsided with that fucking image. Dude, holy it's crazy. Shit. It's amazing. <laughs> But yeah, uh, back on the pizza, it's like the Joe's pizza is probably the best. And if I'm going to get a pizza from them, it's a pepperoni pizza. That's just what it is. Simple, yeah, that, that shit's great. So. All right, Kyle, I'll, 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 prob I'll probably get canceled for this one. But what, my are you going to have the pizza? blood of children on your pizza? What the fuck? <laughs> nah, dude. Say Domino's, you're always. I'm, go I'm going, I'm good with the good old racist Papa John's. Wait, Papa John's is racist? Wait, whoa, whoa, hold yeah, on. Yeah, dude, hold you on. don't remember that? Let me download the app real quick. Remember. Tell me about this. Remember. What do you mean you guys, remember? You guys don't remember this? No. This, this happened years ago. Oh, clearly don't. Uh, years saw, ago, sorry, Papa I'm, I'm John's... Sorry, I'm out on my Papa John's floor right now, dude. Sorry. Let me <laughs> yeah, wait, up. wait. You got to fill me up on the... How is Papa John's so, a little racist? Years ago, I believe, kind of the same way Hulk Hogan got outed, mm -hmm. uh... Wait, dude, I, you're capping. Hulk Hogan's racist too? Okay, you're capping now. Bro, <laughs> you're the you, one capping now, now. You're, now you're capping dude, me. No, I'm actually not. Like, I don't know. He's actually racist? Dude, there was like a huge Bro. fucking issue with that, like in 2015. This shit was years ago. What did he do? Uh, leaked Hold calls, on. I think it was. Hulk yeah, Hogan's so calls racist. got leaked. All racist outburst. I mean, you know, to be fair, Mel Gibson is still fucking in the business too. Like, come on, is he really his is way worse. Is is that is that the standard we're gonna use here? Yeah, Mel dude, Gibson it, is the standard we're gonna. Dude, use. if the Road Warrior can still have a job after the outburst he had, anybody can have a fucking job. <laughs> come on now. I don't know. Nah, dude. So yeah, no, Papa John. Uh, I think if I remember, he got outed the same way oh. with a uh, recording. And uh, basically, the entire franchise got rid of him. They're still using his name. Wasn't the Papa Jones guy like actually insane? Didn't he did it, didn't he do like an interview with like Joker makeup? Yep. <laughs> uh, it might not have been a Joker makeup, but he did a interview where he claimed that his entire life he had never eaten a Papa John's pizza. And in that interview, he ate it for the first time. Dude, that's so, and said, wow, dude, this is shit. <laughs> my favorite Papa John's moment is when he was ordering the pizza to his house and like tracking the delivery guy. It's like, there's my employee. You see that? He's like, he's picking up the pizza. He's coming to my big ass Papa John wow. compound mansion. <laughs> that's crazy. I love shit. that shit, dude. I love the thing like whenever he like tried his own pizza, he had like that moment in Oppenheimer where he just looks like that. <laughs> so the camera. Well, it's like the KFC. Just the same as you know, you know, even even with KFC, like uh, with uh, Colonel Sanders, like the actual Colonel Sanders hated like fucking actual KFC. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. remember that. So I definitely have an unpopular opinion. By the way, my uh, my go to uh, mm. pizza order when I do Papa John's or literally anywhere is usually spinach and uh, tomato. Oh. Dude, That's usually dude, my go -to. Okay, all right. We need to fucking we need to kill you. Like we need to end your life or something. Because what the I, fuck? I, I, That's I usually my go to. I can understand tomatoes, but fucking spinach, dude. Dude, here's the thing though. Most of these places 
uh, they don't just put spinach on it. Okay. What they do is they essentially put some butter on the spinach, and when it goes through the heating rack, it essentially Ugh. browns up and gets crunchy. Dude, I don't know. I don't know. I have this fucking problem with all these fucking old ass cartoons telling me that, oh, man, you should eat spinach because it's really good for you. Spinach fucking sucks. Spinach is fucking awful. We've been gaslighted since childhood to like that <laughs> shit. Have you ever steamed that shit? Have you ever boiled that? That shit smells like oh, it's ass. Awful. It smells like it's fucking awful. ass. Fuck Popeye. Spinach fucking sucks. I don't bro, care. bro, bro. You. I'm not going to take the Popeye slander, okay? All right. <laughs> <laughs> You're a fucking fucker. liar. That I'm motherfucker fraud. kicked that motherfucker kicked ass, bro. Bluto? Dude, Bluto looked like he was on fucking every steroid imaginable and he still got his <laughs> ass kicked because of the spinach. What are you on about, dude? It's just the spinach. Just, if you if you're nothing without the spinach, then you shouldn't have it in the first place. Bro, okay, okay. Think about it like this. How many bitches did Bluto get? Zero. Uh, Zero. I don't know, maybe Zero. Zero. Well, he got one. It's called Popeye, dude. Do you see the leaked ending? <laughs> 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 Oh yeah, but but to be fair, like you know, maybe you're not fucking cooking with spinach right, you know? You got to use like fucking no, 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 no. I, I have multiple times that I tried fucking spinach, and it's yeah. it's yeah, I, it's hard to fucking eat. It's just not pizza, for me, I guess. Pizza, pizza is legitimately the only way I have found to enjoy spinach. Only yeah. way I found to enjoy it. Yeah, so is that how you're gonna get the vegetable in the system through the fucking pizza? <laughs> yeah, you're pizza. goddamn right. <laughs> well, through pizza. Well, well, that being said, <laughs> uh, I do have an unpopular pizza take. Yeah. And I now that I know what your uh, go-to you pizza is, Muda, hmm? uh, this is definitely gonna piss you off. Sure. I think I think pepperoni is incredibly overrated. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't put fucking cured sausage or something on my pizza. Okay, you pretentious fuck. What do you so, do? Dude, sorry for being a basic I'm sorry. bitch. Being basic is I'm good sorry. sometimes. I'm sorry. Itali- just get Italian sausage. It's better. No. <laughs> yes. Dude, you got to get the pepperoni that fucking cups. That shit is amazing. Or or get or get uh, Canadian bacon. Oh, wait. Oh man! So, so you just want to put fucking ham on the pizza now? What kind of what kind of degenerate answer is that? Ham on the pizza? Wow, that's fucking brilliant! Ooh, wait, real, wait, real oh, logical wait, right. thinker I there. Forgot. Yeah, I was like, wait, you don't eat ham on pizza? Oh, right, it's Muda. No, of course not, dude. I, I don't eat unclean I swine, bro. Oh man. Um, I'm sorry. But no, so the. And when you're burning in hell and I'm in Islamic heaven, I'm going to eat it in front of you and I'm going to tell you it's shit. I'm going to tell you it was a bad... I'm going to you tell you it wasn't, wor- it wasn't worth burning in hell for you. You know what? Every ham and cheese and panetta was fucking worth it. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, I would burn I in hell if, if each one of them was worth like a year in hell, I would still eat them. I would still eat them. Well, I mean, to be to be fair, like I think cooking your own pizza is probably the better option, and we, oh, yeah. we all oh, can absolutely. cook. You know, we we've been we've been around the block. We're not some twi- we're not we're not like the streamers these days. You know, no. you know, we we watch some Hell's Kitchen. Exactly, we we know how it should actually go. I, Dude, like that, I'm, I'm gonna guys... ask you something right now. Uh, how, what's the hardest job you guys have ever had? Hardest? Yeah, oh, hardest working job. Fucking hardest. Dude. Most difficult. I mean, depends. Like. Obviously, working the prison and jail is difficult for a completely different reason mm-hmm. than uh, being a wine cook at a restaurant is. I would say, m- I would say mentally, the uh, working the jail prison is more difficult. Being yeah, get the fuck cook, out of here! I, I, I stream for like three line, hours the other day. Fuck being me. a wine cook is legitimately the most physically taxing job I've ever done in my life. Wine cook, fuck. Oh. Don't remember it, much of dude, that. Dude, the amount of running around you do during that, and then by the end of the night, you just walk into the freezer, scream at the top of your lungs, and punch whatever cardboard box is in sight. And I love that. I've seen people like that that, like, straight up don't react at the coworkers doing that because it's like, yeah, we know. We understand. It's like, it's fine. Yep. 100%. <laughs> Again, I guess mine would have been... No, like, I was pretty lucky when it comes to jobs because I the first job I got was the one that I just kept for, like, seven years. We watched that hotel... Uh, night shift yep, yep. that I met you all guys in there um, but during the pandemic when they kicked us all out from that other hotel I was working at I have to take a gig as a construction worker um, hmm. uh, 
save salvaging um, the outsides of all buildings. We have like fucking. We have to restore all of that. It was okay, but four hours of travel going and coming like 7 a.m you have to like you wake up at 6 a.m get ready 7 they pick you up at 9 you get to that place you work until 6 sometimes 7 you go two hours it's 8 30 when you get home and then you have like two hours to do anything and then by 11 you have to be asleep again because you gotta wake up at 6 so and did that for a few months and it was not good but yeah no streaming streaming oh man Oof. dude honestly yeah, dude. like i really i, it's I risk my life every day when i when i when i upload a video dude <laughs> it's you know you know draining. what police officers you know what, pussies especially <laughs> draining <laughs> you know what actually legitimately pisses me off the biggest voice in that entire fucking argument right now is the fucking idiot the fucking neanderthal that is so fucking inept at taking care of his life that he has cockroaches in his house because he won't pick up. Bro, the don't talk shit about my boy Asmund Gold like that. Come on, dude, fuck that guy, dude. You, dude, fuck why do guy. you hate? It? Come on, come on. Honestly, dude. Honestly, dude. dude. Well, give me a dirt, the dude. fact that he, the fact that he isn't dead. Okay, Muda. All I have to say to anybody who wants to defend him, blood wall. I, I, have, I have always like maintained this. I think it's disgusting that anybody, any streamer, you know, I see clips of like any streamer with like just garbage around their fucking like house and shit. Can't fucking. And I'm that. like, that's no actual excuse. Like, oh, but I'm too busy and everything. I'm like, no, no, no. It just means you're a man child, okay? Yeah, like, that's I if, cleaned. If you stream, yeah. that's your workplace, dude. Fucking take place your workplace. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like Simple clean up that. your shit, you know, like you know, do 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 the bare minimum it takes to keep <laughs> exactly. your shit clean. <laughs> I mean, like when I come home from work, like I legitimately cannot stand like something out of place. Like, mm-hmm. let me give you like the level of OCD that that I fucking have. If like when I come home, like if I like mi- like if I open up my garage because I usually go in through there. I have to like switch like I make sure everything is in like the right place over there just because like you know it helps me. I always hate anything being out of place just because like in my mind, if I know a screwdriver is here, I'm going to run there like mentally. And if it's not there, right. it's going to piss me off. Oh, um, yeah. yep. And that, and like when I see these people and one of the most disgusting things is like, and this is like XQC, Aspen Gold, everyone, when they just have like a pile of like food, like uh, food cartons. Yep. And I'm like, I can smell that, you know, uh, like with the heat in the room, like, oh man, that shit reeks. Literally. I have two things next to me right now. Water bottle, Coca Cola in my fucking in my fucking uh, coffee mug. Yeah, I That's love it. how like I love how like the defense force for this is like, well, you just don't understand how like they they stream for hours. I'm like, dude, you're at your house. When I get out of my computer, I take my coffee cup and I go to my fucking sink in the kitchen and I wash <laughs> exactly. it. Exactly. What the fuck? I can see it's my sink difficult. right across, like it's right there. No, yeah, no, dude. No, there really isn't any defense for this. Kind I of think behavior. the worst, like the most, like secondhand embarrassment i i felt was that clip of excuses mates just bagging everything dude that was based oh, man he dude, just that was smiling based, typing he's like bro. oh god no man you guys are making my fucking skin crawl <laughs> scarce just like a certain scary movie franchise that i remember we watched yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Which one? Yeah, you watch scary movies? I don't know what you're talking no, about. No, dude. Some some uh, some activities that are quite paranormal sometimes. Oh yeah, you mean Katie and Toby? Katie and Toby, dude. Remember when those movies were fucking everywhere? Yeah, I remember when the very first one released and how big of a thing it was. I remember that one. I actually watched the third one on theaters. I remember. I went to the fucking movies to see that. Bro, you went and to the be- theaters to watch that shit? Oh, I'm so yeah, sorry. I went to the- it was, what, Luda, I went to theaters alone. I went to theaters alone to watch the marked ones. Wow. Dude, that was actually uh, the best one, what? though. Shut the fuck- Oh, brother. Bro, what are you <laughs> on about? It was Dude, the best it one! It fucking Oh sucks. my god, you guys literally- zero see, to You 100. sound like Jen right now. You sound like Jen. What do you mean? Mark. It's fucking all. It goes to zero to 100 in like a millisecond, just like the fourth oh one, god. which also oh sucks. Oh my god. Oh my god. You literally sound like her right now. This is the same Mark like discussion. Bro, that I've had. don't you love when movies movie. retroactively fuck up the first movie? You're telling when me that the fucking weird activity the at the movie? end of the first one? 
It made the sense weird... logically because Toby went through they, time they to time connect travel. the essays. But... How the fuck does that make sense? They fast travel. They fucking went like oh. seven years in the past. Oh, hey, hey, hey. You played Cyberpunk? There's fast travel there too and I don't see you bitching. <laughs> <laughs> so you're telling me that the scary part of that movie was two random Mexican guys that time travel. Time travel in essays. Time travel seven years into the past. To see a possessed Katie that then didn't react to them and then grabbed the knife and killed Micah and then then what? I mean Yo, okay, okay, fair, hold on, hold on. To be fair, you, you spawn in somebody's house, right? Okay, that's already fucking creepy. Now you see some crazy fucking bitch walking around possessed and shit? Yeah, I'd be running out of that fucking up, house. I'd be scared. Up. Actually, I'd be stop. pretty scared. That is not how that goes. So they they travel back in time. That's what actually causes Katie to scream, okay. which causes her boyfriend to go downstairs, uh -huh. at which point she kills all three of them. Squad wipe, yeah. No, she didn't. The, the, Squad wipe, yes. The the other friend was killed by the possessed dude from the Mark ones. That You remember that he came out with a razor sharp teeth and the movie ended? Uh, dude, I haven't seen that movie in forever, okay? Like, we gotta, we gotta <laughs> rewatch this shit. Let's start off with the, with the paranormal. Uh, so, okay, we love found with the first footage one. movies. So I want to start off with the found footage movie addiction. And Mario wasn't there for the found footage movie addiction, but he's learned oh, now. Oh, it was me and Muda. So me and Kyle, we start, we started to, we were like, all right, we're going to watch some horror movies. We're going to watch found footage movies. And so for a while, me and Kyle used to be part of a group on Facebook. This is how degenerate it this. It seems to be gone now. Well, to be, this is how degenerate this entire activity was. We were on a Facebook community group. Oof. And I want to, I want to start off by saying, this community group should be legally examined for being this for being completely <laughs> brain dead fucking retarded because they would announce some of the worst movies imaginable. All right. These were the worst. They had no concept of a good movie. Okay. They, they, let me tell you. So these people were the dumbest, but uh, anyway, so me and Kyle, we pretty much over the course of two and a half years have watched almost every single found footage movie from like the beginning of time. You know, we're talking Paleolithic era, Book of Genesis era, to 2024. And uh, it's gotten to a point where we can't even, like, we, we don't know what movie to watch. We've seen everything. So, Imari's joined us on here. And to start off with found footage movies, there are movies where, like, the whole premise is you find a tape and it's shot first person, blah, blah, blah. Paranormal Activities is probably, I would say, one of the most popular movies that came out about that subject. Mm -hmm. It was actually the one thing that really put it back into the mainstream. Mm -hmm. And the first movie, I always the first movie I maintained was really good. Like it was a good movie when it came out. Um, it's I, a good I agree. Movie. Yeah. It's a good movie. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it's pacing. It's fine. It's alright, and it just doesn't like it's in your face with the scare factor. It like mm -hmm. slowly builds up to it. Yeah. The acting is pretty good on that too. Yeah, good movie. Everything mm -hmm. is super duper solid, and then of course, like as we uh, as as we as we evolve further in like the world of these movies, right? It became a massive franchise. You had like you know the Paranormal Activities two, three, four, the Marked ones, the Lost ones. Now apparently that came out. I don't know if we watched yep. it. There's a new Probably. one. We watched it. It's trash. We watched yeah. the the one where there was like a, a an Amish village. Yep, yeah, that's yeah, that's the, the new one. newest one. Yeah, we we did watch that. It was yeah, shit. It was shit. Yeah, it was it was shit. Mm -hmm. It was resoundingly shit. Oh, you yeah. forgot the ghost dimension, dude. Was that good? <laughs> no. No, it wasn't. Yeah. It's yeah, fucking it's called the ghost dimension. Uh, if I'm going to be real with you, that one might be the worst out of all of them. I the barely remember dimension. anything about that, but I, I do remember like they would move the camera and they would see like this fucking weird ghostly aura around. They're playing phasmophobia basically at that point. Yes. I yep. don't remember anything else except the ending. When you see like a portal to the ghost dimension, and and that's it. It, it. That was supposed to be the end of the franchise back then. Yeah, and then they rebooted it for no fucking reason. Yeah, we got no fucking answers to anything. Second one was basically most more of the first one again, but I gotta say the acting is way better in the second one. The, the I'll maintain the, this: the first three are the best. Oh yeah. Three, I like that it, it it's if I remember correctly, it's actually in like the eighties, like eighty nine or ninety. The, when the 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 woman Is characters, the, one? the woman characters in one and two are yeah, kids yeah. in there. They're both yeah, yeah. Three, it's okay, but it has like some of the coolest fucking ideas for like found footage movie. That moment when they put the camera on the fan and it slowly pans yeah. around like it's fucking FNAF. That shit is awesome. That shit is great for a movie. 
Yep. Uh, those scares are good. The scene when the fucking furniture like goes to the the ceiling and you don't see anything and all of a sudden everything just fucking crashes down. That shit's great. Yep. Mm-hmm. That's good. I Hon- don't really remember how Honestly, it ends. one of my favorite scenes from Paranormal Activity, and it's memed on so hard, is the fucking Xbox Connect. Oh my god. Oh, the dots projector? The, yeah. The dots yes. for, uh, the Venom. Yeah. That is my favorite that is one of my favorite scenes from that because I'm like, on one hand, I'm like, this is so fucking stupid. And on the other hand, I give them props for even thinking about it. That's how they reached the kids from 2012. Dude. Four was awful. Four was the first one that was like, oh my God, this fucking yeah. sucks. Because he went from the, nothing happening for like an hour into the movie to fucking everything rushing in the last 20 minutes. And that's yep. why Marked Ones was better. Uh, Mark ones was but everything happens in the last twenty minutes. In Mark the ones, one, nah, bro, one you got thing, superpowers and shit. Come on, the one thing, oh, yeah, that, 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 that's the worst part. I got super basketball <laughs> oh, powers God, apparently to like beat that. people up as well. There was one scene in the Mark ones that I remember because I remember for this reason is the reason the um, that scene with the guys in the bathroom and like takes something out of his eye like a, like like a string oh, like a black yeah. string. Yeah, yeah. You know why I remember that scene? Why? Why? Because it doesn't fucking add to anything. What was that scene? Why was that scene there? It connected uh, nothing. Nothing uh, happened after that. What does that even mean? I gotta watch this movie again, but I'm sure a movie that with that peakness, like that peak cinema, had something that to say. Peak. Yeah, that peak cinema. You feel like it was a cutscene. You cut that scene. Nothing changes. Like what the fuck was that? You know, you give that movie so much shit, but it tried different things. Like, it really did try. Yeah, you know who also tried different things? The fucking new one with the Amish people. Do you remember anything about that movie? Oh, well, they went into the forest. Yeah. Uh, yeah, sure. Paranormal yeah. activity? Oh, yeah, it was in a house. I mean, I mean, that's a that's a pretty safe bet <laughs> considering they were Amish. Yeah. yeah. Look, at the end of the day, the, the the fucking marked ones, you guys give way too much shit for it. The ending, I maintain, is still It's hilarious. funny. Mark ones is funny. It's a funny yeah, movie. It's, it's a funny yeah, movie like, to watch. It's literally like, it's literally like essay and essay just hang around and like get fucking haunted and shit. <laughs> Those are movies that you just grab your bros, get some drinks, and just fucking just riff it as you go. Just go fucking yeah. full. And, then, and, and, and you know, when you, when you, if you want to get serious, like... There really hasn't ever been a good paranormal activities movie. Like there really, no, like, no, a lot of them are just like the first one. I you said it had good pacing, and I agree to an extent. But like uh-huh. everything that was actually scary happened in the last two minutes. You know yeah. what ruined that movie for me is the like face at the end. Not the well, end. that was shit. But like what ruined it because we got it on DVD after it came out, and it was like, oh, you want to watch the movie or want to watch it with the alternate ending? Like, bitch, don't fucking tell me that there's an alternate <laughs> fucking ending. I yeah. just started the fucking movie. The whole You're supposed thing, to make it look real. The whole thing about the uh, fun footage is trying to make it real. Why do you think Blair Witch Project exploded? Because they fucking, dude, fucking yeah. fill, fill you know towns what? with like wanted posters, like fucking missing posters and stuff. Dude, Websites, I, we, fake documentaries. Time thought it was real. Yeah. Mario, you're absolutely right. I'm so glad you mentioned that fucking movie. We can't shit on paranormal activities. Blair Witch is by far the worst fucking movie ever made. I don't know, man. There's fucking kind of I don't know, Holocaust man. We've well. seen what was the what was the what was the plot line to this movie? Oh, they gotta find the they gotta find the witch. They gotta find the map. Yeah, the, the fucking map. Yeah, the map. The map. The you know what? Map. Actually, what we... I actually watched a video the other day. I don't remember, but it's like the whole backstory and lore of the Blair Witch about the the witch trials in like the 1800s or something. How they burned this person. And then how in the 40s the witch influence grabbed this guy to like kidnap some kids, murder them, and that's why the Coffin Rock is called the Coffin Rock because they killed them then. The guy was caught, thrown in jail, died in there. There's three PC Blair Witch games that explain all of that as yep. well. In like the I think it's like in the 50s or something. I don't know. But then you have the uh, fucking yeah, they're movie. All, they're all prequels. Yeah, yeah, but then you have the fucking movie, which... I, I, I gotta disagree with there. I like it. I think it's fine. It's really like it, it, if you're waiting to see something, that's not what the movie's about. It's about like the the implication of that being there. Yep. But then you got Book of Shadows, Muda. <laughs> oh my god. Do you remember Book Bro. of Shadows? <laughs> oh shit, I think you, I just broke it. Refresh me on Book of Shadows. Oh, dude, it's... Uh, oh, yeah, you, you know, the cinema masterpiece. Yeah, you know the movie with the fucking crazy editing that's all of a sudden just 
flashbacks to like scenes of hospitals and people being like injected with something. They buy a military bunker for a buck, get like assemble a cast of fucking misfits to investigate something. You see the look on my face, audience? It's a face of PTSD. <laughs> yeah. By the way, I, I want to point out again. to you. Yeah. I want to point out to you that <laughs> technically, that movie actually. That movie never makes, scared me. That movie was that, honestly that so fucking boring. Book of Shadows actually somewhat makes sense canonically. And like if the, you played the PC games. Wait, why? How? What? Wait, yes. wait, wait, what yep. PC games? Did you play the PC games? I have. I own one of them. How wait, wait, wait hold sense? on, I hold want, on. You, wait, there's a Blair this. Witch PC game. Are you talking about the newest one that came no, out? Mura, no, there's. I, I no. just mentioned there's three there's, PC there's games. Three PC games for Blair Witch in the nineties. They take place. They take place from like three different perspectives, three different people. The events of the whatever happens in those games, I've never played them, but I've looked into them, Mura, and it turns out that. Those games correlate to the second movie. Would have completely disassociated when I explained the entirety of the the, the lore <laughs> of the Blair Witch. <laughs> yeah. Dude, this is like so new to me. This is like yeah. actually so fucking. You new. didn't. It's you three. didn't know. I actually played that on. I played that on stream once. There's three of them, and then there's a new one which I haven't played so much. But yeah, there's uh, three of them. And oh my oh, god, it. these look like fucking oh, shit. they're trash. Oh, yeah, they're trash, they're awful. This was after they're, they're, Resident Evil, so you know are, they're gonna try to be like that. But those, those are meant to uh essentially expand the lore, mm -hmm. and those are, from my understanding, loosely or maybe heavily influenced. Uh, the creation of the second movie. Wow, I'm sorry because the second movie is fucking bullshit. <laughs> but is it <laughs> the a second bullshit? movie is scarier than the first movie? Is it bullshittier than 2016 Blair Witch? Dude, 2016 Blair Witch was good. It's good. Okay, I don't know if you're capping. I uh, being not, dude, I, I swear to God, oh, bro, I think it's the better, second movie better. is better than the first one. Unironically, what? <laughs> No, at least no, the bro. second one kept me away. The first one was fucking boring, dude. The first one was this fucking asshole crying about the map the entire time. The <laughs> ending wasn't even scary. What? Because that bitch. Wait, hold on. Well, because she was staring at the wall. Because you're yeah, at the just wall like scary? the murders, just like the murders. Yeah, just like the murders. They explained the movie that the person murdered them. They don't want him to be scared while they were being killed, so they told him to look at the wall. Yeah. There's because a lore reason kill, for it. They, so the lore reason was that the Blair Witch would murder kids. While she was murdering, while she was killing one of the kids in the basement, she'd have the other kids stare in the corner. I do have like a soft spot for that scene, though, because that entire final scene, the walk through the house at the middle of the night, I it's fucking bone chilling to me because I remember watching that as a kid <clears throat> and imagining myself in, in like a forest at night. I fucking hate that. <laughs> I would fucking just lay on the floor and die. Being in the forest <laughs> in the middle of the night, in the middle you of see, nowhere. Like, in a situation like that, if you already know that you're going to die, like you already know that the end is coming, don't, don't bitch out. Well, yeah, that's what they did. Just, that's what they, that's why they went through to the house. Well, that, that's why I'm be if real I, with you. in a situation like that, I swear to God, I'll take off all my clothes and start fucking <laughs> screaming and running through the house, helicoptering my dick. hundred percent. I, I was going to say, dude, if you think if you think Going my final like moments aren't going to be me gooning, uh, bro, you're wrong. I'm going to fucking run through the house and start fucking just pissing and running and screaming. <laughs> but like, let's literally, go, let's go back to the third one though. Then in the third one, at least, well, I don't know if it's it's good. One of the main complaints is that you don't actually see the Blair Witch in the original movie. Like, what the fuck is the Blair Witch and everything? Well, but was it worth it because they show something in the third movie that looks like fucking Freddy Fazbear or something? Alien. Yeah, I don't know. Freddy Fazbear. You get, uh -huh. <laughs> and you get like snatched away if you see it. And it's like this shitty fucking ass CGI monster and it looks awful and it's The only the only thing that sucks about that movie is that we haven't gotten a follow up to it. Because if we had a follow up that actually explains That's what it some sucks the about ending. the movie? Really? That's what it sucks about Dude. the movie. It's a fine movie. What it's, the fuck are you on it's about? It's basically the same, except that they have this stupid plot about the people being lost for two weeks, like being trapped in a time loop or something. Apparently, there's like a whole time loop now. Remember that? 
Do well, it yeah, the there was a time loop original. in the original. Where? Well, you, well, you, motherfucker, she, she was stuck in the same fucking time. She, she was, she was on Eastern Standard Time like two p.m. the entire time, bubbling <laughs> around, begging for the map. That was a time loop. Yeah, well, dude. I, I don't know. I missed that apparently. I don't know. I don't remember that seeing that. That was a that. space loop. That was a they were stuck loop. in the same time and so space. wait, so why did why were those people affected by a time loop, but the other ones weren't when they found them? And the the, the ghosts apparently make that other guy fucking snap in half. So Alright, explain Carl. I hate that I of course there's an explanation. I hate I that I it. know this. I want to hear it. I hate that I know this. So come on, my Pat, you can do it. The only way that the witch actually targets you according to the lore is if you spend the night in her woods bro they saw the guys in the time loop at night if well i what i'm saying to you is essentially if you go into the woods with the intention of finding her place and stay the night that's when all of her fuckery starts so if you if you live in the, if you stay the night in the woods but you don't want to fucking ever see this bitch she doesn't trap you Supposedly, but that like doesn't make sense either Lord. because the whole plot was to find the house because the main character was the brother of fucking Heather. So he definitely well he would go there. Did well okay wait did he know about the house or was he just trying to find Heather? I'm guessing he would know because the footage was found right. I don't know. Yeah, the, the because that's just it. Found. That's just it. They might be. They might have explained it away as well. He didn't know about the house. He was just looking for his sister. He thought his sister went out to the woods, had a fucking great time, and disappeared. I think he knew. I think he knew about the fucking house. I think that's the whole <laughs> point of the movie at the same time. Just trying to find what the fuck happened to her sister. Um. So, like Muda said, we have an extensive history of found footage under our belts. What is your guys' favorite that we've seen? Mine, personally, is uh, Deadstream. Mine is The Conspiracy. Deadstream and Conspiracy, those are pretty damn good. I, I conspiracy was fucking awesome. Conspiracy my, was really oh, yeah. good, yeah. I'm trying to think, actually. What would, what would be my... Oh, shit, I'm pretty sure it's... Uh... And here's the thing. Deadstream starts off where you're like, what the fuck is this? I I show, it starts off as something that, that should that not be likable. I remember I showed you that movie, yeah. Yeah, that was that was one of those where we got like the most obnoxious main character for the first fifteen minutes, and all of us were just like, "Man, this is gonna be a fucking shit time." Dude, I don't know about and you. And then I it love just that guy. it has one of the best builds. It grows on you. The guy, the, you want to see the guy succeed. And I fucking love movies when there's paranormal something that the main character just punches. <laughs> I just love movies <laughs> when the guy just punches a paranormal entity. That that's great. Uh, I'm trying to remember which one I like because it was actually going to be one of those two, but I'm, I'm right now drawing a blank. There was that weird movie that we watched about the kids in like in an abandoned house in the middle of a desert that at one point it kind of fucks every like a demon shows up and they run into the band and they stay in the band for a while. Do you guys You're thinking one? of uh, one of the VHS movies. Was it a VHS? You're thinking of a VHS movie. That's uh, one of the shorts in one of them. I think that might be. There was another one. Might might be. There was another VHS movie. That might be the one with uh, VHS ninety three. The one with uh, the rat god in it, Ratma. Oh wait, you know what? What, When which one I actually really like the Hell House movie. Dude, Hell House is solid. Those are good. Those are good for that. And the newest one was new one was pretty cool. Fucking awesome. New one was loved the new one. Uh, the ones that I show you, I remember uh, I showed you one night. We watched two. We watched Without Warning. We watched that uh, news coverage movie that I showed you. And then Ghost Watch was the other one that I showed you that was pretty fucking slow, to be honest. It, it was kind of the same. It was like uh, this broadcast about a ghost. And it was pretty slow. Oh, right. But I remember... That's that British one. Yeah, I remember Muda left because he was, he, the movie was too slow and he was pretty tired. And we actually like fast forwarded to like the last 20 minutes. Those last 20 minutes are awesome. The movie picked up so fucking good yep. at that point. Everything, yep. it, it was basically, the movie basically ends with like a global possession, basically. Everything gets it, fucking yeah. possessed at the end. Basically, the entity can uh, so what was the movie called trans- 
Ghost Watch. Ghost Watch. Yeah. Uh, apparently, the entity was able to uh, spread itself over. Uh, what what did they explain it as? Electricity, or was it just the fact that everybody had a knowledge of it? At this yeah, point? but when it's slowly, you see like the thing manifesting around everywhere. It's like making a circle of possession because there there was like the live lines at the same time. People calling in, yep. and some people calling. The guy said that they're reporting that they were having strange stuff happening in their houses too. Until the end, we just fucking takes over everything, basically. Yeah, I, that that was... In terms of, like, uh, endings that we've gotten in found footage movies, that's one of the more creative ones that I've seen. Because usually they're just like, oh, everybody died. Footage was never recovered. Uh, speaking of that, I think it's uh, pertinent to mention that that movie actually caused a real-life death as well. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Wait, what? It was yeah. yeah. Who died? Uh, you remember the movie, the the entity. It's called pipes because of the pipes that he makes noises in the pipes in the house. That's how they know the the ghost is around. <laughs> and this movie was watched by a, uh, I think it was like a twenty something year old guy who was suffering with mental retardation. And the same week, his house happened to like also have problems with the pipes. And the, the guy was, like, convinced that the ghost was going to get him. And he decided to take his life. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Yeah. It, Movie cut a lot I, of even I that. Even I didn't know that until Amaru explained that one to me. Yeah, that was kind of, like, also one of the reasons why I wanted to show you the movie. Like, that's... It, there's... And, I mean, other found footage movies... Found footage movies are not... Uh, they are not strangers to controversy. Yeah. Uh, Cannibal Holocaust. That's basically Perfect the first example. Th- that's that basically the first found footage movie, sucked. supposedly. It fucking sucks. It's historical. Yeah, whatever. It fucking sucks. And the director was a piece of shit. The animals yeah, that you see in those movies. Yeah, the animals that you see they in the movie, died. they got killed for the movie. People fucking got angry. The reaction that the people got for all the scenes of the cannibals eating the, the humans was so fucking insane that they actually charged the director with like fucking manslaughter or something. I don't remember. The guy yeah, had to they, go to trial and bring the actors say, hey, look, I'm not dead. It was a movie. Yeah. But still, it was significant. It was historical. Yes, I don't give a shit. The movie sucks. Oh, it's an awful, it's a terrible movie. Yeah. With beautiful I mean, music. A lot, a lot of those shock jock movies are terrible though. Serbian film, terrible. Oh, what do you show me that? Yeah. The um, movie was uh, it was shot okay, you know. It, it was it was shot okay. <laughs> if you gotta yeah. say something about Serbia, yeah. Oh man, yeah. cinematography is pretty cool. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. You know, so, you know, <laughs> but like, yes. but yeah, like, no, the, a lot of those. The the movie that like uh, the movie that kind of fucking hits me is like that. The, I watched this one recently, Salo. You remember that movie? Oh, yeah, yeah I remember that. Shittiest fucking movie I could ever imagine. Like, oh my awful. God, the the people that jerk these movies off need to be medically fucking assessed. Like, you guys are actually fucking losers. Like, is Salo the one about the like Nazis and? Yeah, it's like it takes place one, in like there's, Italy. There's, there's a lot the of one there's a lot of raping. There's a lot of sex. Okay. There's a lot of a lot was... of shit eating. There's a lot of a lot of fucking nasty degenerate shit in this movie. It literally. I was gonna it's, say it's the one where Jim Carrey gets fucked in the ass. The guy that looks yep, like him. I was gonna. You know? I was gonna say. That is what I remember from it because me and you were watched. We watched it for the first time together, and me and you could not stop laughing because it looked like Jim Carrey was getting railed. Like I tried watching that scene with Jen again, and it was totally opposite because it was like so. To, for context in that scene, what happens is like these like five women come in and they're like completely naked and shit, and like one of the guys who's eating like throws the woman over and he like basically forces himself on her. So Jim Carrey lookalike looks at that and he's like, oh, wow, this looks really fun. Takes his pants off, fucking like sits next to this dude taking advantage of this woman. And he's like, now fuck me. And I'm like, bro, what is what is the point of this fucking movie? Like, right, what are we with, doing here? Even when context context that, fu- that sounds fucking insane. Even yeah, it, because it's, oh, it's dude, all, the, the ent- whole movie is insane. The entire movie is just pure insanity. 
It's a fucking fever dream. Is like what apparently it is. it's supposed like and then and then like so what I usually do with these movies is I like I, I want to see the I want to see the redditors discuss this shit. Yeah, so I always snobs, type like Salo snobs. discussion yeah. like Reddit and dude, it's like the amount of fucking like Culp Olympic like justification <laughs> barrage that one has to do to describe this movie. <laughs> like you read it, it's like well, it really is about the Dante's like it's really about the fucking great tragedy. I'm like, dude, it's a movie about shit. And rape, okay? <laughs> Who cares? Yeah, exactly. I get it. It's like it's like the point of the movie is to show you like fascism is bad. Really? 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 <laughs> this is what we needed to show that. You know, last I checked, the Nazis were pretty bad. You don't need to show me a, a dude eating <laughs> shit. Exactly. You I get it. Show... Believe me. <laughs> like like trust me. No, I don't need to see. A, I don't need to see a rape scene. Oh shit, brother. <laughs> to know the Nazis yeah. were bad. I knew they were bad. Okay. <laughs> like holy shit it's insanity like okay the, the shit eating section i'm like like they're forcing these people to like eat shit or like die or whatever and like fucking just orgies while they're eating. i'm like dude we get it it's bad okay we, i uh, trust me I, you don't need to show me this scene i get it you could show <laughs> dude you could show me a swastika and i'll be like yeah that's pretty bad you don't need to show me the whole extra stuff on top of it like it's like <laughs> it's like watching the movie schindler's list or whatever you know, yeah. like yeah, the yeah. end of it is like, dude, that movie was such a f- like, fuck you to my brain. The whole time you're thinking, damn, I hope those fucking kids, I hope, I hope something good happens. They're dead. I'm like, dude, I, w- I literally, I spent two and a half hours of my life watching a movie that said the Holocaust was bad. Bitch, I done knew this. I knew the Holocaust <laughs> was bad when I was in the fucking womb. All right. I'm pretty sure my mom watched movies like that. She's like, yeah, that's pretty bad. I hope, you know, I knew this. We all knew this. But yeah, that's it's, it's just I don't know, man. Some movies like Salo miss me. I don't want to ever put Schindler's List in the same level as Salo. That no, that movie's no, great. Not. That movie's that awesome. Great, yeah, Salo is fucking dog shit. And anybody caught defending it, like, come on, dude. That's the thing. Those movies Wanna... that are like super shocking. That's all they have going for it. Have you like ever heard anyone else talk about Salo without mentioning like, oh shit, the shitting and the, like the the raping or whatever? Right. Yeah. That's all no, they have never... going for it. It's historical, whatever. I don't know, and I don't give a shit. I don't care yeah, about like, movies dude, that do that. I'm shit. not. I'm not here to watch like fucking. It's. I'm not here to watch a movie about shit eating, like rape and piss and scat and everything. Like, dude, who does this? Okay, exactly. like who, who enjoys this shit? It's like, you know what? I, you know what? I would rather watch fucking stuff like Steel. Steel was funny. It was Shaq as a superhero. That shit is funny. Dude, it's like people are like, why do you watch Fast and the Furious? That movie sucks. I'm like, dude, it's cars, Fantastic. guns, hot babes, street <laughs> racing. What the fuck? It's a what dude do you mean? shooting people I will... on a plane while holding yeah. a baby, dude. Yeah, like I it's will, awesome. I will forever defend Fast and Furious to any detractor that comes at it. Dude, yeah, it's no, like I people, haven't seen the last dude, two dude, like I love when like anybody's like, but the storyline sucks. I'm like, man. You know what? Then maybe maybe you're meant maybe you're maybe you're actually brain dead. Okay, you walked into a fucking movie type. You walked into forget. Okay, even if you can't read, right? Let's say that you're illiterate. You know, you you didn't you walked into a theater. You're like, I want to watch a movie. You didn't know how to read between Fast and the Furious and fucking Oppenheimer. Okay, you looked at fat. <laughs> you saw a movie with Vin Diesel on the cover, and you thought it was gonna be a good story. Come on, like, come on, dude. There's some motherfuckers from Mars that just landed on the fucking gal- planet, and they could tell that it's not, dude. Get, you you saw a movie with Tyrese Gibson and Ludacris standing next to next to each other, and you thought, yeah, this is gonna be a great fucking cinematic Citizen Kane of Dry. Get the fuck nah, out dude, of here. They, it's a they movie. saw Dwayne the Rock yeah. Johnson and said, dude. It's a movie dude, where this you is gonna just be it. shut down your brain and joy. That's, it's that's like, it's the like, point of the movie. It's like I had a dude who like asked me, it's like, how can Han live? He died in Tokyo Drift. I'm like, dude, you, you got to turn your fucking brain off, okay? Mr. Nobody got him out of there, okay? Mr. Nobody said, yeah, dude. well, who's Mr. Nobody? The dude that... He's nobody. Exactly, that's what it is. Like, dude, you can't watch this movie and, and, and actually apply logic to it. They drove a Lycan Hypersport through the Burj Khalifa, you du- what the fuck do I have to explain? You know when Charlie, you know, the, you know, I almost had a fucking, like, I almost had a Chris Chan moment in one of my videos like months ago. I said, I said the DeLorean from Fast and the Furious and everybody in the comments was like, don't you mean Back to the Future? No, bitch. I mean the newest Fast movie. Because when you yep. watch the newest Fast movie, Charlize Theron, the chick that plays 
Furiosa in Mad Max? Yeah, yep. Char- that Charlize Theron. That's how amazing Fast and the Furious is. Vin Diesel can get people with actual career and clout <laughs> to just work on this movie, okay? Oh, like, Oscar nominee Theron. <laughs> Dude, it's not even like, oh, these are like, you know, B-tier actors that like have worked with like a director for... No, no, no. Charlize fucking Theron. She's Viper the computer hacker, the super computer hacker. She showed up to Vin Diesel's house in Los Angeles in the electric DeLorean. You think you think I just say this shit because I have a <laughs> neurological condition? No. I know. No, 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 no. I watch these movies back to back. Jason Momoa? Dude, the guy plays somebody. The dude yeah. has a fucking phenomenal, <laughs> yeah. phenomenal performance. Yeah. It's like, it's like the dude, the dude is literally like fucking, people are like, I watched him in Aquaman. No, bitch. I watched him in Fast X. And you bet I'm going to yeah, fucking, yeah. I'm going to go to the theaters and watch Fast X Squared. All right. <laughs> IMAX. I'm going to IMAX that bitch. Popcorn, all the soda, all the trimmings. I'm going to watch this finale of a movie. Now, it's a little bit difficult now because apparently like fucking Vin Diesel has been caught, you know, molesting people and shit. So it's a little, little hard to cover Wait, this. Story. Yeah. You don't know that? I, no. I didn't. What? Dude, Vin, Vin Diesel had like a sex allegation, dude. Oh, yeah, man. dude, I'm ta- never, dude, I'm, dude, I'm literally, dude, I swear to God, like, I swear, <laughs> the day I find out Kojima was, like, raping people is the day I'm done, bro. The day I find out, like, the day I find out, like, Nostalgia Critic is doing crazy shit, What's I'm this? done, dude, I'm it's fucking out. Like fucking James Rowe was, like, molesting it, that's when I'm leaving the earth, dude. <laughs> <laughs> dude no, I'm going to the Blair Witch House and I'm done. Because <laughs> you just fucking take me away. <laughs> Yeah, and and, th- and so, like, you know, again, to go back to the Fast and the Furious stuff, dude, it's like a movie that's about cars, driving, and, and all that, stu- and family, okay? The guy says family a million times unironically. You, you know, you know, you know the part that you have to show them to make them, to prove to them that you just need to turn your brain off? Dude, Tyrese and Ludacris flew a fucking Ford Pinto to the goddamn space station. Dude, That's you know, you know, you know, what my favorite video on YouTube is, and I will die. The, the last video I want to see before I die on my deathbed is a video where a physics channel explained the ending of Fast Six. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, okay, so for anybody that doesn't watch Fast and the Furious Six, the end of it, there's like this runway scene that goes on for like 12 minutes. And by the way, the cars are driving at like 200 kilometers, and like they're fucking pulling it. So for 15, <laughs> fuck, 12 minutes on the on the on the tarmac. They're driving Mach, 5, Mach 1, you know? And the tarmac never fucking... The plane never even takes off. The physics channel actually had to, like, calculate the total length of the runway, and it was some ungodly amount. Like, we're talking like, 10 times the amount of fucking Area 51 or some bullshit. <laughs> and, but that's the thing. Like, when I saw the video, I'm like, dude, it's so crazy. This guy put all this mathematical effort into it. And it's a movie where Vin Diesel is, like, holding an engine with one arm, you know, as, as a sign <laughs> yeah. of a threat. Like, holy yeah. shit. But that's the coolest part, though, when you can, like, try to explain stuff like that in a movie. Stuff that has no fucking business being explained. That's yeah. what just makes it a great scene as well. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's like dude, they, they don't... Like, you think the fast fucking creators g- g- care about, like, fucking logical story don't give lines? a shit, man. No, dude. <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> Bro, they don't give a shit. You know, that's why one of the biggest game franchises in the world, Grand Theft Auto, has literally made Fast and the Furious the game. Like, if you play GTA Online, yeah. it literally is Fast and yeah. the Furious. Bro, GTA started off as a, like just like Fast and the Furious. It started off about street racing and shit. Last Fast and the Furious movie, I don't think I've seen one street race. They don't even <laughs> no, talk no, no, about no, no, it. No, 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 there was. Oh, yeah, there was. Wait, who? Between who? Uh, it was Vin Diesel and, uh, well, Vin Diesel, Cal Drogo, uh, a.k.a. Oh, oh I know what you're talking about. The one where he saves the chick from the Porsche accident. Yeah, because, be, do you, and you remember that the, uh, he has to choose between saving the chick and some other dude and <laughs> the other dude gets fucking iced. Yeah. Yeah, he has to make that choice because Jason Momoa is like yep. fucking jigsaw in the new movie. Oh, movie. dude, Jason, dude, like I said, Jason Momoa has a phenomenal performance. Like he portrays. We're talking for phenomenal and Fast and the Furious. Yeah, and, I, for yeah. those standards, you know. Yeah. <laughs> dude, I'm sorry. That is the best performance in the entire Fast franchise. Yeah, again, in the entire Fast franchise. Isn't that the scene where he jumps over to the car and so like, ooh, or something like that, that I remember yeah. being memed? 
Oh, he that was, I think that was I think that was John Cena's like fucking death or something. Oh yeah. my god, I forgot. Yeah. Just he's like, thanks for bringing no, me back not... into the fold. Dumb dies. I don't, I don't <laughs> think John's dead. <laughs> of course not. I don't think John. I don't think John's dead yet. Yeah, John Cena died. Like he literally died. I don't think he did. Well, you need to fucking watch the movie because he he, he like literally it. like fucking he like the whole like fucking Allah I mean, like yeah. But at the same time, Han also time. Han also died. So, yeah, but Han, you know, no, but like, yeah, you know what? You're right. I mean, to be fair, like <laughs> yes. they could bring him on back. Top of that, and on top of that, the impossible happened. Dwayne the Rock Johnson has returned. Really. I thought it was like it, yeah. I think it wasn't Tyrese Gibson that said, "Oh man, if he's not if he's back in this movie, then I'm out." Something like that. There, there was like a no, that's Vin Diesel. That, that's Vin Diesel. It was huge, like but heat backstage. Something, there. something happened. Money. I don't know. Money talks. Money talks. Money talks. Look, everybody has a price, and they must have met his. Look, at, at the end of the day, all right. There's, there's another. I'm going to do a tonal shift for movies here. Mm-hmm. Another movie that I think, hands down. Is one of the greatest sets of movies, and people just, is Saw. Dude, you can't even tell me there's been a like the Saw franchise is as wild, goofy, and brain dead as the Fast and the Furious franchise. It's now, like you, a it's movie. definitely it's definitely a franchise you got to shut your brain off. It's with. like Dude, the 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 filmmakers like saw a bunch of Mortal Kombat fatalities and said, okay, let's make a movie around this. That that's but really drawn out. Yeah, Dude, yeah exactly. I, 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 I'll be real. Like I never get as hyped in movies unless I hear. <laughs> you watch those movies just to like see the people die to be honest like, like yeah, let's dude. say how it is yeah. see the people die but there's like a, a way to like show people dying that it's like okay that looks cool and other that makes you say like wow this is shit case in point the fucking hostel movies hostel movies i feel it's like trying to be saw but badly i think they kind of suck in that yeah aspect. The first one I was the decent. First, the second and third one. First uh, is decent. Nah. The second one isn't the one that ends with like a kids playing football with a, a head. I mean, like, <laughs> the, like the concept of the movie is cool. Like the first one I saw was really interesting. I thought the end of that movie was really cool when like he the, like the, yeah the guy just yeah. goes to the guy and gets revenge. Yeah, that 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 was okay. Yeah, but the second one, sure, I, I told you, the second one ends with kids playing football with a head. So I think they just throw all the seriousness out of the window at that point. Yeah, you guys, you guys want to know what uh, series that I personally like? As it continued, it got a lot of flack, but I personally think it's one of the best reboots that's ever been done. Mm-hmm. Halloween, the Halloween yeah. movies. I, I, I don't know what it is. I really enjoyed the reboot. I do like that. Being said, yeah. the final movie introduced so many fucking plot holes that I. It, I enjoyed it, but I feel like it definitely ruined the experience for a lot of people. I actually haven't seen the last two. I saw the first, like the first of the second reboot on theaters, but I haven't seen that one. Not, not the Rob Zombie. Yeah, one. Yeah, no, no, no. I know, no. Those, those are like no. <laughs> what are the same Rob Zombie one. We don't talk about. At the that same one. time, they're not like uh, one, two, and three are cool. Of course, one, two are like fucking iconic. Three, I like it because it's different. And that was originally right. what they wanted to do with Halloween. It was going to be like an anthology series. It was going to be a different story each Halloween. But they fucked it up for the first time. And they made two movies with the same character. And when the third one came out, everyone was like, where's Michael Myers? Then four, five, and six happen. They all fucking suck. Then H2O happens, which is it's cool because it's the original character just beating the shit out of Michael for like an hour and a half. In fact, the original title of... Uh, the that one was supposed to be the revenge of Laurie Strode, which would be a you way know, better. Hilariously, time. Uh, I think it's four, five, and six for sure. Five and six are Paige's favorite uh, Halloween movies. Wow. Well, you well yeah. you married her, so believe believe me believe yeah, me when I say I tell her. To be fair, also, I know she has shit taste in uh, movies because her favorite christmas movie of all time christmas with the cranks okay i thought you were gonna say jingle all the way which i would fight nope. fist fight you for that christmas with the cranks is her favorite of all time at least, at least she's not basic like, enough to say home alone or something yeah that would be very basic 
Yeah, at least she's not mentally ill enough to, you know, say Die Hard. Die Hard is a fucking Die Christmas Hard is movie. Christmas movie. It is not. Just like okay, Batman well, Returns. Sure. I, I mean, hey, it's okay to be wrong, you know? I mean, like, nobody. No, it's all right. You guys are wrong, and that's fine. You motherfucker it's wants not, to be a it's contrarian, not, dude. It's, it's, a, it's a movie that has a, a dash of Christmas put into it. It's not a Christmas movie. It just has a sprinkling of Christmas it. Christmas is there. That basically makes it a Christmas yeah. movie. That no. You see Christmas trees. You're fucking. You're, you see you're standard. Christmas trees. You're standard. You see gingerbread mans. You hear Christmas music. They mention Christmas a bunch. It's snowing. It's a Christmas movie to me. I don't care. Just like your, Batman Returns. Your standard for Christmas movies is way too fucking low. Well, there you go. They, they they work as well. <laughs> Batman Returns is a Christmas movie too. Yeah. Yeah. You, uh, to finish this out here, you guys want to? You guys know? I'm surprised this didn't come up. During our discussion of shit movies. You know a movie I legitimately just had to turn my brain off? Otherwise, my brain my brain cells would actively revolt. Mm-hmm. What? Skin and Rink. Oh. God, that fucking movie. Oh, my fucking God. Oh, dude. Dude, that movie was so And you know so what? Fucking I, thought, I thought of that movie when you were saying... You love going on Reddit and seeing people play oh, mental dude, gymnastics. The amount of Fucking dick lickers Olympic... for that movie, bro. <laughs> the amount oh of God. Olympic level gymnastics that had to be performed to justify that movie. Dude, I would unir- um, I would I would unironically like fucking be in be in the center of a bukkake than watch that fucking movie again. <laughs> like I would literally take like twenty dicks full loads. <laughs> then watch that fucking movie again, bro. That was boring. You know, it's a, it's the only horror movie where, like, I could say for a fucking matter of fact, five minutes were actually uh, scary. Everything else was just like, please kill me. Oh yeah, there's there's literally only one good scene in the entire movie, and that's the scene with the mother on the bed. That's it. That's the only good scene. I barely remember because I was like, like, tempting in and out of consciousness when you guys were watching that movie because I was I was not at home I was a, my back in my hometown watching that shit through the yep. phone. And I remember like waking up one second and you guys saying, "Man, let's gas gaslighting Mario into thinking that the movie's great." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I remember that, dude. It was like it was without a doubt one of the most boring fucking experiences of a movie that I've ever had to see. And like the again, like to, to be fair, like the amount of dick lickers for this movie is so fucking insane. Because like the whole concept again, it, it goes back to the Salo point, right? Like. Everyone on Reddit is like, this is what the movie is actually about. I'm like, you'll forget what the fucking movie is about. At least let it present a good fucking movie. We, we can argue about like the, the esoterics of it at some point. But like this movie just, again, it was a boring, boring fucking experience all the way through. I legitimately I could not find a good thing. You have to agree. Yeah. Like it, if nothing to else, be fair, is I did. I did. Su- I did successfully uh, gaslight Jordan into rewatching it. Oh, yeah, but that's Jesus easy. Christ. Yeah, I I felt bad for it, and he came back and he's like, "Yeah, that that was decidedly shit. Why did you guys make me watch that again?" Hey, man, for that. I mean, and and then like again, like the people who again defend this fucking dog shit movie. It's like I, again, like don't get me wrong. There's some scary parts to it. And I'm sure the actual analysis for this. Like there, there's a, there's a dialogue to be had, right? Like, cause so for anybody that hasn't watched it, the movie is like this, uh, it takes, it basically takes place in a house where like all the windows and doors are locked off. And, uh, the whole story is like, you know, the, the like, uh, this, this child, uh, is alone in this house with his like brother or sister and it progressively gets darker and darker and darker, uh, and that's just how the story is. Like you, you, you can watch it for yourself. Uh, the story is supposed to be that the child is actually in like a coma, and that's why the story gets darker and darker and darker for him, uh, because like you know they're in a coma, uh, and towards the very tail end of the movie, it completely goes into black, and like you know the the, the story is done. Uh, the kid basically stops responding. Now mm-hmm. I've explained to you the analysis for it. And obviously, it doesn't take a fucking Nobel laureate to figure this shit out in a movie. Uh, you, you know, if you watch it enough, you, you, you'll figure it out, even on your first try. But beyond all of it, it's like, dude, that was the story. That was the key game. That was the key thing. Did it have crazy scares? You know? Five minutes of it was scary. After that, it was just like shots of like, you know, the house and just 
I don't know. That's all the movie is. It's just like it's like a movie. Like if you if you if you watch a lot of analog horror series on YouTube, you'll probably <laughs> jerk this off. Okay, like that's my take of it. Yeah, I fucking expect to see Channel Fifty Two on fucking Local Fifty Two. Yeah, like at that point, it's like I'd rather just watch like fucking Local Fifty Two or like a lot of these things because you feel I feel like they understand it. This is like this movie. The best way to explain it is it could have been twenty five minutes long. And actually good. But instead, it was a feature-length yeah. movie that people went to theaters for. And I'm like, if I went to a theater and watched this... Oh, I'd be pissed. I, I'd be done. I, dude, front front desk would definitely be hearing from me. Dude, it's like, it's like you know that episode of South Park where like Stan and Kenny like go over to Mel Gibson's house for the money back? That's what I'd be fucking doing. I'd be like, I want my fucking money back, okay? It's <laughs> like, shit on the wall. <laughs> yeah, like literally. I, I'm, I'm like, I'm done. This movie, this movie sucked. Sir, you sat through the whole thing. I don't give a shit. Yeah, that. I sat through the whole thing to try to find something good. Guess what? I was lied. <laughs> but yeah, that, that's that's yeah. generally the that 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 was Skinnamarink, and I don't think I found like there there's there are very few movies that elicit this kind of a response. And the only thing I think the response comes out of is like the amount of like legitimate dick lickers that movie has, <laughs> like on on Reddit, yeah. like. I, I was surprised because whenever time, like, every time you go like I, on on Reddit, the opinion was the movie is either like the second coming of Christ or it's like me, Kyle, and Amara. It's like yeah, this movie was fucking boring. Like holy shit. <laughs> Simple as that. But yeah. Yeah. No. That. Yeah. That. Fucking. It. We've seen a lot of shit horror movies. That to me is the prime example of shit that honestly probably had some potential underneath it and more but, to come we're gonna talk about more shitty shittier movies so mm-hmm. you got a bunch so, to check as the ending little sound clip here and we're not gonna give any explanation to this to tie it all back to the beginning I got into a fight with a uh, co-worker about this question. And we're not going to elaborate at all. We're going to give our answer and I'm going to end this. What is the worst part about a pizza? Is it the crust, the sauce, or the toppings? I mean, I, I'm i not as weak as some people that leave the crust. Like those people are out, we're not, will not carry on to the next generation. Yeah, but if I gotta pick, it's you're making me pick about like between three good things. So I gotta choose the one that is the least good. I'll say the crust. Yeah, yeah, but exactly. I still love the crust. Yeah, I'm not a bitch. I can and eat it. I exactly. Uh-huh. I see. In my my uh, choice here is the toppings. 